everyone, if B is the midpoint of AC, let's put a line here, find the value of X. We're going to check our solution with the property of substitution so we can get the concept better. So basically, we have AB here, and we have BC here. And if B is the midpoint, then each side should equal each other. So that's what we have here. And what we're going to do, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, write this out again. We have 5x, which is AB. We're using um, substitution. 5x minus 6 equal 2x. I'm going to go ahead and put plus 0 here. And I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides. And I'm going to add 6 to both sides. So we can save time here. So we get 3x plus 0 equals 0 plus 6. Or 3x equals 6. Use your division property of equality. Divide both sides by 3 and you get x equals 2. So we did that. And now we need to check our solution. So we're going to come back here and see if it's true. Uh, does AB equal BC, given that our X is 2. So we're going to do 5, we're going to use substitution. That means you replace every X with the 2. So that's substitution. So we have 10 minus 6 equals 4, or 4 equals 4. So that means BC is 4, I mean AB is 4, and so is BC. That means the length of AC equals uh, 4, or 8, because you add 4 plus 4, and that gives you the 8. Okay, we're going to try a harder one. We have a midpoint here due to a line bisector, and we're going to uh, look at PM, and PM should equal M Q with M being the midpoint. So those lines. All right. So we have 5x minus 7 equals 11 minus 2x. So again, I'm going to take two steps. I'm going to add 2x to both sides and add 7 to both sides. Now this one's not as nice because we're going to get a fraction. So we get 7x plus 0 equals 18 plus 0, or 7x equals 18. Using your um, division property of equality, you get x equals 18 divided by 7. All right, so that would be your answer. However, we need to make sure that's right, because it does look weird. So we're going to use our property of substitution and replace every x with 18 divided by 7. And see if these two sides equal. If our answer is correct. If you want, you can put these in uh, fraction form. Make it a little easier. So you multiply across, you get 5 times 18 is going to be uh, 90 divided by 7 minus 7 divided by 1 equals 11 divided by 1 minus 36 divided by 7. Now you need to uh, have the same denominator when you're adding and subtracting fractions. So that's going to be 7. I'll put a 7 here. So to make that a 7, you multiply 7 times 7, that's 49. And we need a 7 here. So 7 times 11 is 77, because 77 divided by 7 is 11. All right, and let's see what we get. Um, let's see, I'll use purple. All right, uh, 90 minus 50 is uh, 40, so 90 minus 49 is going to be 41. And 77 minus 36 is also 41. So our solution is correct. And therefore, this side of the midpoint 
of PQ is 41 divided by 7 and this side is also 41 divided by 7. If you add these two up, the length of all of PQ would be 82 divided by 7. And that's it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.